Today, I'll be teaching you how to perform a stability and performance test on your GPU using Heaven Benchmark. Gustuhin man natin sa hindi at kahit anong pag-iingat at pag-aalaga ang gawin natin sa ating graphics card, it being an electrical device, it undergoes wear and tear or deterioration sa tagal ng paggamit natin dito. Performing a benchmark on your graphics card could also be a way for you to know if ito ba ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit kayo nagkakaroon ng mga BSODs or blue screen of death o di kaya naman pag nakaka-experience kayo ng lag sa inyong mga games or while you are performing graphic intensive tasks such as video editing o kaya naman ay photo editing. In a previous video, gumamit tayo ng format to test our graphics card pero para sa tutorial natin for today, I'll be teaching you on how to use heaven benchmark so let's start so let's download our application for our tutorial for today dito sa benchmark.unigen.com slash heaven this is heaven 2009 this is free to use and magrarun ito ng graphical test sa ating graphics card para matest yung performance and stability niya so let's click itong green na button dito sa bandang baba and let's wait for the download to finish and once na natapos na tayo sa pag-download nito let's move on to our test computer bilis ano <laughs> So here sa ating test computer, we have now copied our installer dito sa ating desktop. Let's install our program. And then click finish. You could now launch yung ating Heaven Benchmark dito sa ating desktop. So double click natin ang ating icon to run the program. And from here, makikita ninyo yung interface ng Heaven Benchmark. So makikita nyo rito yung language, yung preset na pwede natin gamitin kung anong klase API or DirectX version. Kung gaano kataas ang quality na gusto nating gamitin sa pag ng ating benchmark, tessellation, stereo, 3D, at iba pang mga settings na pwede nating gamitin to modify yung test na iraran natin. Usually, when I use this application, I leave all of these settings as default. So, let's wait for the program to load. And now, makikita nyo na nag na tayo ng ating graphical test sa ating graphics card. So, what the program is doing is nag render ito ng mga scenes that would push your graphics card and from here, we could observe kung mayroong mga artifacting o kaya naman ay mayroong mga errors na mangyayari sa ating graphics card since nai-stress siya nitong ating test. So dito sa upper right corner, makikita ninyo yung frames per second as well as kung anong graphics card ang ginagamit natin for our test. In our case, ito ay isang NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti as well as kung ano yung speed na garan yung ating graphics at yung ating memory and kung ano yung current temperature niya while we're running the test. Dito naman sa lower right corner, makikita natin din dito yung frames per second, yung current time ng ating benchmark, at kung gaano na yung frames na nare-render ng ating graphics card, yung minimum at maximum na frames per second na nare-render ng ating GPU, as well as kung pang ilang scene tayo sa ating benchmark at kung ilang pang natitira. In this case, this is scene 4 of 26. And if you're finding this tutorial interesting, please click the like button below and please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. So let's wait for the benchmark to finish and while we are watching the scenes, look for artifacting na rin sa inyong screen. Look at your temperature and if you find anything wrong, you could stop the benchmark by pressing the escape button. So once na natapos na ang ating benchmark, you could see yung average frames per second na na-achieve ng ating graphics card. In our case, ito ay 73.2. Kung anong score ang na-achieve natin. In this case, 1,845 minimum and maximum frames per second for the duration of our benchmark. As well as some specifications on our system at kung ano yung mga settings na ginamit natin sa pag ng ating test. So for these results to be useful, click natin yung save button. And find the location on your system kung saan nyo i-store ang result ng inyong test. And then you could compare these scores sa iba pang mga taong gumagamit ng same graphics card for you to see and determine yung status ng stability and performance ng iyong GPU. And in comparing your scores with other people na gumagamit ng same graphics card at ng same settings para sa inyong benchmark and you found that your scores are below than average, 
would mean maybe it's time for you to clean your graphics card or maybe reapply thermal compound and then run the benchmark again and see if kung merong naging improvement sa performance or stability ng inyong GPU. If you found this video useful, please click on the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell para lagi kang updated kung kailan tayo naglalabas ng ating mga bagong videos. At para sa susunod mong video, please click here sa card na nasa kaliwa para malaman mo kung paano mag-perform ng benchmark using Formark. At dito naman sa playlist na nasa ibaba para sa iba pang mga tech tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one.